Hello people from the future, welcome to Normalize Nerd. This is the fourth video of the series where I am showing you how you can deploy your machine learning models in the browser using Flask. And in the previous videos, I have already shown you how you can get started with the Flask, how you can upload your model into the server, how you can get the images from the clients and send it to our server. Now in this video, I will be showing you how you can do the inference in the server. So in our case, the inference would be to classify the images provided by the user, that is the doodles, uh, into our five classes, star, sun, moon, cloud or rainbow. As this is the continuation, so I would request you to please see the previous videos, otherwise it won't make any sense. So let us just go into the code section where we need to change our app.py file. So, so I'm just showing you once again where the file is actually present. So I hope you remember the folder structure and this is the app.py file that we have created in the earlier videos. We are going to modify it. Actually I have already modified it. I am going to show you what the things I have changed in this file. Uh, so here is the app.py file and the first change you notice here is this line so what this line does is it is uh, in this line i'm creating an array called classes and i'm storing my class names in this array okay so i have five classes that's why cloud moon rainbow star and sun and uh, this is the code which is which was already present in the earlier video so i am not going to explain this again So now this this function process image the preprocess image is uh, the most important portion because uh, remember the user can upload any the user can upload an image of any size but our model accepts only a particular size so we need to convert these images into that size okay into the target size that's why I have included a parameter called target size. And another thing that we have two methods of inputs. One is from the HTML canvas. Another is from the upload button. If you remember correctly, I'm showing you just again. Uh, here, the background is white. And whenever someone is going to draw in this thing, you can see it is black colored but in this portion in the if I upload an image you can see the background is black and the drawing is in white so we need to take care of this thing because uh, our model in our model we have fed this images so if I Feed, if I pass this image in the model, it will work fine. But if I pass this image to our model, it will get wrong predictions. Why? Just because the color is different. So a simple trick we need to do is, let me just go to the code section. Here, I have included a parameter inverse inv. So if this parameter is true, then we are going to change this image. So this by this invert function. So what this function does, it actually changes every bit. If it is a white, it changes into black. And if it is a black, it changes into white. And this inf will be true only in case of this thing. Okay. So another thing, uh, I have also uh, converted the image into black and white, into grayscale, which is denoted by L in this case. So why we need this? Suppose someone is uploading a PNG file in this area. It is not necessarily true that the PNG file that the user have uploaded will be in the, the in, will be in the grayscale format. It may be in RGB format or in any other format. But we have trained our model in grayscale formats only. That's why we need to convert these images into grayscale format. So after converting the images into grayscale format, 
uh, we will be converting the image into an array into a suitable array that's why I have written these two lines so after that uh, we have to uh, declare two routes why two routes again because we have two methods of inputs that's why two routes so this is the first route which is predict image that will do the job for our right portion where the user will upload his previously drawn images right so the methods will be get and post so why this method is necessary because the user will post this data so to allow this we need to include these two methods so now the function corresponding to this route predict image so first it will just get the JSON data. So what JSON data we are talking about? Let me just come to this file index.html. We are talking about this data. This it will just get by this line. Now after that, remember that our data is sent to the server in a base64 encoded string. But our model does not support that format. So we need to convert this. We need to decode this base64 image for base64 string format. So that's why these three lines are just decoding it. Now, after the image is decoded, the image now is of the original form. So that's why we need to. So here we need to use our preprocess image function, which will just convert the original image into the into the image that we can fit to our model that is we need to just convert it into a target size and grayscale format and change the bits if necessary now for this part as i have mentioned that in this case the background will be black because it is just uploading uploaded images that is this images the background will be black we are setting this in to false and in this case we will be just setting it to true because it is the canvas and the background is just white and the drawing is in black in that case okay so it is the line where the prediction happens so what is this spread this is actually matrix and the first row of the matrix actually contains the probabilities corresponding to classes as I have implemented the softmax function in the last layer of the neural network, that's why the probabilities will add up to one. Okay, so now we need to decide which class is the model predicting. That's why we need to just correspond the probabilities with these classes. To do it easily, I have just inserted the elements in the classes array as I have done in the training case so it will just automatically correspond to the indexes the proper indices you can see this is idx a variable which which will contain the index of the element with the highest probability this spread actually contains the probabilities and we are finding the element we are finding the index which contains the maximum probability so now what we need to do we need to send our response to the user right so a good way to just convert it into a json format and then send the response so that's what i have done here in this portion of the code this is pretty simple as you can see this is the property and this is the value so I'm just showing you again where I am just writing this thing in the HTML. So look, this is the thing. So this is the line where I am just sending the response to the user. You can see response dot prediction image, which is just this thing, right? Okay. So the uh, right portion of our application is done. So now the last portion, which is the left portion of our app where Everything is pretty much same here. The, the only difference is this inverse because again, I'm saying you that this is white and this is black. That's why we need to apply the bit bitwise inversion. So now we just have to run our flush server and see if this works. Okay. So now I'll just go to our directory and 
I will start one prompt from here. As usual, set flask app equal to app dot pi flask run. loading model model loaded and now I'll be just going to our browser and refresh okay first I will try to draw a star and see what our model thinks about it predict oh it correctly thinks that it's a star okay so now I will be just try to draw a moon it thinks it's a moon okay now uh, I will be just testing this portion where I will be uploading a previously drawn doodle okay so let me just pick this cloud here cloud and predict it thinks I think it's a cloud so it's good it's good okay now just let me upload a rainbow I think it's a rainbow okay okay so we have completed our implementation and deployment in the browser so I will just quickly recap what so I will just quickly recap what I have just done in this series of videos so what I first did I just showed you how to set up your flask app how to write your very first application how to build the model for this convolutional neural network how to uh, upload the model in the server and finally in this video i showed you how you can do the inference in the server so one thing that i forgot to mention in the previous video i will mention in this so that is if i just go to the index.html you can see that in this portion where we have just replaced the substring at the beginning of our base64 encoded string you can see here there is a png why this png because uh, everything that i'm uploading in this project this file is of png format but it is not necessary that you the, the user will upload only png files every single time they can upload a JPEG file or any other file formats. So what you need to do for compatibility, you have just you just have to change this thing into JPEG. Or you can just copy this thing and paste it again. And you can just add multiple file formats here so to support more compatibility. Okay. So that was all for this video uh, if you like this series then please uh, like and share these videos and if you are feeling a little bit more enthusiastic about machine learning and creative coding and want to learn more about it then please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching so